Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our 68 plate, registered December 2019, BMW 340i M Sport Shadow Edition Touring. This has the eight speed ZF gearbox with the sports transmission and paddle shift. The car is finished in mineral gray metallic. It's a one owner car. So no previous, it's not one former, it's just literally just the one owner from new. And uh, some great spec on the car. Car's covered 31,361, sorry, or 369 miles to date with full service history. Now the whole car has been detailed to a really high level. The exterior of the car has been machine polished, both rotary and with an orbiting polishing mop that brings up a really glossy finish. If we come in close, you can see the reflection on the bonnet there, just how clear. It takes out all the holograms, the, the final finish that we give our cars. And you can see what a lovely glossy, if we come up onto the roof as well, you can see just how nice and clean that is. And then all of the interior is cleaned as well to a really high level. If we come down and look at the front of the car, there's very minimal um, chips on this car. I mean, there's hardly anything, to be honest with you. We've got the lovely LED lights there, and the Shadow Edition gets the BMW black gloss kidney grills as well. I'm just gonna bring you in close. We've got front and rear parking sensors on this car. Just wanna show you that this front bumper, it's not pitted at all. If we come across the front, no damage down here either. All of the grills in really nice condition. We've got front fog lights as well. You can see that the lenses on the headlights haven't been peppered either. Got a really clear, let me come right in close. Can you just see some cars get heavily chipped, but this one hasn't and uh, beautiful condition. We'll just take you up along the front I think there's a couple of tiny little, there's one just there that's been touched in, very small, just in the center of the frame there. And there's a couple of tiny little, see those little, I've come in quite close to show you that, but as soon as you come out, look, you can't even see them. There's nothing over here. I'll take you up to the top here. You see it's all lovely and clean. And if you also look at the windscreen you'll notice it's not got peppering on it or anything like that at all we've got the camera there for the high beam assist which automatically dips the main beam we come up onto the roof sometimes you'll see chips up here but nothing on this one no scratches no damage to the paint from bird dropping stains or anything like that no tree sap marks all in beautiful condition so the shadow edition also gets the sun protection glass at the back the rear lights are a smoked finish so not as red obviously we've got the lights on at the moment but if you look at the unlit area you'll notice it's a much darker color now i'm going to take you panel by panel just along the side here you'll see that all of the paintwork is really nice there's no scuffing on the edges or anything and then what we'll do, just take a look down the side. And then all of the alloys, I think we've got one alloy on the other side. This car's only just come in, we've only just finished it. I think there's a little chip on one alloy, which we're gonna do. We've got the 704 M 19 inch alloy wheels with the M Sport brakes, running on Bridgestone Potenzas. All the tires have got a good amount of tread on them all round. I've already checked that. There's your rear wheel. If we come out, I'll show you the side profile of the car. Mineral grey is a really nice colour in the BMW range. It tends to suit all of the cars really nicely. And it's quite easy to keep it uh, looking clean as well. Not too hard to clean in the summer. Obviously black cars are a lot more difficult so we'll come around the front. And with the 
uh, shadow edition, we get the black gloss wing mirror covers as well. Show you this side and then we'll come in close. I'll just point out also the headlights on the shadow uh, edition are dark on the bottom band in there rather than the silver, which is just gives to the same mood of the car. And then the front alloy wheel, there's a tiny wincy little chip. There it is, just really, let's get it in focus. Just on the edge, it's tiny, but uh, that'll be sorted. Let's take a look down the side of the car. Get it in focus, there we go. You can see that all of the panels are lovely and straight. There's no chipping on the front wing. Let's just come out a little bit. All of the door, all of the door edge as well. No scratches. All around the filler cap. I'll show you that in just a second. The rear wheel, no marks on there. And uh, we open this up. All nice and clean in there. And this engine can run not just on the E10 fuel that's now out, but also E25. So should it change again, it's going to be suitable for that as well. Take a look round the back. All nice along there. There's the tiniest little stone chip, just on the edge, very small, but we'll touch it in. it's very small. As I say, so we'll touch that in. Come down nice and low. So also on the uh, Shadow Edition, you get the black finished uh, tailpipes as well which is quite nice, opposed to the chrome. But while we're here, we might as well open up the boot. So you can open up the glass separately. That will actually lift a bit higher, like so. See, all in here, all in really lovely condition. It's all been cleaned. And the parcel shelf that pulls across, you can see is all in really nice condition. It's not got any tears or big marks in it. So we'll close the glass down, open up the boot. The boot can be opened with the key as well. We've also got rear camera on this car, which was another option. Now, if we have a look just up here, there are no, scratches or scuff marks up there. Put this blind in. We've also got the netting as well. So we've got extended storage in the back, which gives you the extra 12 volt socket just there. And the selects uh, elasticated piece on the side, which you can tuck things behind. All of the carpets, this is just my fingerprints so I've just lent in there a minute ago. Now under the back section, this is where you can actually store the parcel shelf. Like so, it lays in the back here. Now the customer had also fitted a, a detachable tow bar. Now they tell me they've only used it really a couple of times and you can tell if you look at the actual uh, ball joint on the end there to the left, you can see it's still black, it's not got any wear on it. so. We've got the key for it as well, so that locks in underneath. We've got the cargo net which clips in in the little location points there and there. And then there's some hooks just behind here. All nice and clean inside as well. And uh, these little clips here, you can hang carrier bags on there so your shopping doesn't go all over the boot. So if we press and hold the button on the key fob, the tailgate will then close down. I'm gonna take a look in the car now. So we have inside, we have the Harman Kardon sound system. 
There's about 16 speakers on this system with a, um, a much bigger, more powerful amplifier. There are more speakers under the seat and up in front of the sat-nav screen. You'll also notice that the protective covers from new that go over these um, sill plates are still on there. They can be peeled off. It'll be like new underneath, but previous owners left them on. All around the circumference of the door opening is all in lovely condition. And then we've got the carbon effect. It's like a metal finish, but it's like a carbon uh, design on there with the pearl chrome finisher, which runs along the top there. And the black Dakota leather, all of the door card in exceptionally clean condition, no dig marks, We've got puddle lights underneath. You can see how, just how clean it is all under there as well. If we check out the leather seat, there are no scratches or wear marks on the bolsters all the way up, all in really nice condition. The iDrive wheel, we've got the professional media in this car as well. We'll show you that when we come round to the other side. Let's open up the rear passenger side. So again, the door card, you can see the Harman Kardon speakers there. All of the door handles in really nice condition, no scratch marks on there. Puddle lights in the back as well. And then if we look at all the seal, Around here, you'll notice there's no dig marks or scratches from trapped seat belts. Sometimes people trap the seat belts in the door opening and puts a dent in there or a scratch, but this is all in lovely condition. The backs of the seats, the air vents down in the center there. All in really nice condition. center arm rest and the rear center head rest also drops down to give you better visibility out the back. We've also got, if I just flip the locking, the LED lights under the door handles as well. Nice little feature. Okay, let's come around to the back. And uh, we'll do this side. So again, the door card, no damage at all. All lovely and clean. All of the edge of the door. Take a look at the door shuts, the rubbers, etc. All the way around. Let's just let some camera adjust the light. No scratches. No damage in there either. And all the leather isofix in there, of course. Now you see the headrests up on the top of the uh, roof lining up there. That's the, sorry, headrest, the uh, speakers, sorry. Up in the roof lining, so you get additional speakers up there as well. Both sides. And then no scratching around the handle or the door edge. Just turn these lights off for a second. And the driver's door, the one that gets all the use, there's no scratches, no dig marks, nothing on there at all. And uh, if we take a look down the edge and underneath. And again, still got the plastic foil, the blue sort of plastic trim over the sill plate. All nice and clean in here, look. And again, the driver's seat and the bolsters. The bolsters inflate to, to hug you. I have a little rocker button just down there, which inflates this side and this side. All of the steering wheel, all of the leather is in really nice condition. We've got uh, the auto lights, auto wipers. And then this is part of the extended storage pack, this little cubby hole. 
in case you were wondering why it wasn't on all the cars that you might have been looking at. It looks pretty uh, insignificant, but it's quite a, ha uh, a handy little area to store things. And when it's not there, it's a little bit frustrating sometimes. Anyway, let's start her up. Let's just get these lights turned up. So 31... 369. Let's just turn this fan down a bit. Okay. So you'll notice on the steering wheel here, we've got voice control. We've got a mode button as well, and then a roller wheel phone button. So we've got uh, what's called full back panel display. If we press the mode button, it brings up DAB. You can flick through with the roller wheel, your stations. Press it again, go through FM, the online entertainment, which is a subscription base, which I think it's got the remainder of, of uh, the subscription on there at the moment. Let's just go through that again. And then music collection is the hard drive that is within the professional media that this car has on it as well. If we press the telephone button below it, when the phone's connected, it will bring up the last old numbers so you can ring out from there as well and then on this side we've got speed limiter cruise control and you adjust the speed here so if you put the limiter on you'll notice just down there we've got 20 you can put it up to say like 50 in a 50 mile an hour zone and the car won't go over 50 unless you actually put your foot down hard and as a safety feature it will power past 50 and then if we go into cruise control, the needle around the outside, if I turn that off, see it disappears, turn it back on, it comes up, and then you can adjust the speed once we're moving and set the speed. This is the button just here for the high beam assist. Like I say, so we'll bring on the main beam and the camera up on the top here, just in front of the rear view mirror, will monitor any light from headlights or lit up village and automatically dip your main beam. Now we've got the key, let's come out of there. So this is the later sat nav screen, which is all touch screen as well. We can move all of these around like so. That's your home button. Sometimes pressing these buttons more than once. That goes for these buttons down here. As well if you hit the menu button and then hit it again it'll change the screen we've got the navigation uh let's go into map sorry there we go if we come over to the left this is where flick it one way than the other there we go right so this is all of the uh sub menus down the side map views for example always like to show that you can actually use these buttons down here We've currently put it, you can see if I just run my fingers along there lightly, it highlights. Obviously you can save like radio channels, but you can actually use it as a shortcut. So if I press and hold that button, we've assigned perspective view to number eight. And if we wanted it in direction of travel, which is looking straight down, we could assign that to number seven. And then as a shortcut, we can just hit number eight now and it will change the view. You can also put telephone numbers in there. So you go into your phone book, click on the number. When it shows you the name and the telephone number, press one of these buttons and it will store that telephone number there. And you can just press, for example, number one and it will dial um, your other half or mum or whatever. We've got heated seats, believe it or not, these are all extra. So the heated seats, the sat nav is all um, options uh, on, the, on the shadow edition. So we've got those, in fact, we'll leave that on for a little bit. Dual climate control. All of the fascia here is really nice condition. Now, it's gonna have the lighting package as well. So if we go up here, it's always in sport. So we're gonna flick it out of sport because sport never really shows up during the day. Go into interior lights, there it is, it's in sport. Let's put it in classic. Now straight away, the lighting up here has changed to orange from white. If we come down, you can see the orange glow around the unit there. 
And if we come to the doors, all of the doors have LED lights underneath them, and they've now gone to the classic am, uh, sort of orangey amber colour, which uh, BMW have used for years. Got our ZF gearbox, drive modes, etc. All really nice and clean down here as well. No nasty marks or scratches. Um, cup holders, all lovely and clean. 12 volt socket in there. And another one up underneath the um, oh god I've forgotten what it's called we'll move on from there glove box sorry we've got heated seat uh, sorry heated steering wheel I'm losing it now heated steering wheel just under here which will warm up the steering wheel really nice in the winter I'll turn that off for now just checking yep yeah, so let me move my paperwork so we've also got the sliding armrest so you can bring that forward for long journeys so you can rest your arm on there if we bring it back, lift it up, USB in there. Now BMW might not be able to add, depends if there's an antenna uh, uh, for uh, Apple CarPlay, but we can get it done by outside companies. So if that was an option that you were looking to get, please give me a ring and uh, I can find out for you. In the glove box are all the books. I just point out also, if you go into my vehicle, which is where most of the settings are if you come down you've got owner's handbook now in here this has actually got everything that's fitted to the car opposed to the book it tends to have everything and it's whether your car's fitted with it so you can look at all different things um, in here and there's some animations to show you how certain things work etc distance control pdc assists you with parking and maneuvering so we won't watch that now. I'll just pop it into reverse actually while I remember. And you can see that we've got the parking sensors um, with guidelines and also with the obstacle markers as well. So you can see um, if you're getting close to something. So I'll take it out of uh, park. Let's put it into park rather. Come out of there. Now the car, like I say, it's only just coming. We just picked it up a couple of days ago. Um, now, if we go into uh, the servicing side, uh, it's just come up for a vehicle check. So all of our cars go around to the BMW specialist anyway, and um, that will be updated and the car will be given a check. So previous servicing, we'll start down at the bottom. This is the PDI when the car's inspected from new. And then this will be oil and filter. They're every 19,000 miles or two years. So that's about right on there. There you go, oil and white filter. Then the next one will be a brake fluid change. The first one's at three years. The, the ones after that are every two years. We come out there, you can see vehicle inspections just come up. Um, that's just for a vehicle inspection, of course. So that's nice and straightforward. Uh, engine oil. I think we're probably gonna do the engine oil. I'll. I'll just see the date there it says November next year but 8,000 miles so I think it's fair to say we're going to do the engine oil and um, we'll do it early because 8,000 miles depending who buys the car um, they might do that in six months you never know so we'll get that done so brake pads on 14,000 miles at the front there's plenty of life left in those uh, the brake fluid not due to two years and the rear pads, 60,000 miles. Well, that'll probably calibrate down as the car get, gets used anyway. So pretty much uh, almost up to date, but we'll get that up to date this week coming. Um, media, we've got DAB, FM, online. It's all in there, iPhone, USB, the Harman Kardon sound system, Logic 7, it's a really nice sound system. I can't put it on because YouTube <laughs> like to turn your video off if I'm for uh, copyrights and stuff like that. We've also got what's left of the connective drive. So we've got at the moment, Amazon Alexa weather reports. So you can have like a weather radar in there and uh, Wikipedia, there's, there's plenty in there. So just have a quick look inside. We've already shown you inside from the door area. So let's take a look under the bonnet. Just 
just gonna jump out. So there's two pulls to lift the bonnet. So this is the six cylinder, 326 brake horsepower, twin power turbo engine. It's an absolutely beautiful engine, this. Um, I don't know why they rate it down uh, under the M135i's, uh, sorry, the M140's, but uh, you can get this remapped if you so wish. And the twin power turbo means it's got a twin scroll turbo, so there's two inlet ports going into the turbo, much more responsive, very, li very little lag, if anything, and uh, makes it better for fuel. Um, as well as uh, power. Just trying to focus on looking around the engine bay here. Really nice and clean. All these panels here, these black panels, we lift up and hoover out any leaves and stuff to make sure it's all nice and clean. Very smooth engine. All lovely and glossy and clean up here. Most of the engine bay is all done, you know, by hand. We do a very, very light jet wash around the outside, but they spend quite a lot of time making it really nice and clean to present it as nice as this. There we go. So a really lovely looking Shadow Edition Touring. They're very hard to find at the moment. And uh, we were lucky enough to buy this direct from the previous owner. Um, didn't come in via any other garages or anything like that. And it's always nice to know where the comes, cars come from. We have lots of different finance options and extended warranties. So please pick up the phone if you've got any questions and give us a call. Thank you for watching our video. Hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.